You know, we know that breast cancer doesn't just impact those who've been diagnosed. It also affects their loved ones. Yeah, Morgan State football coach found inspiration after his wife died. Now he's formed a bond with one of his players who's also been impacted by breast cancer. ABC 2 Sean Stepner has our story tonight. Even before the sun rises, the Morgan State football team is hard at work. <laughs> Wins on the field provide the fuel for the bulk of the Bears. But for assistant head coach and running backs coach Kenny Lucas, his inspiration comes from another place this time of year. Back in 1998, I lost my first wife to breast cancer. Uh, when the doctors discovered her breast cancer, she was at stage three. Crystal Lucas was an active cheerleading and softball coach, health and physical education teacher. When you, if you walk out of a hospital and the doctor tells you the loved one has about six months to live and it actually in actuality it was only six days she was only 43 years old it was a trying time um, but you have to you have to keep going you're going to experience some bumps in the road you have to keep going you can't face that bump and stop or turn around and go back particularly when you have others depend on you kenny turned to football as a way to cope then and still does now this sport brings us so close together that occasionally you have those intimate conversations. And it's very ironic when you come across a, a player that has experienced breast cancer, either similar to I have or maybe in a different fashion, but it gives you even more of a stronger bond. That bond exists between Lucas and senior running back Markham Banks. My aunt is like one of the pillars and a woman in my, you know, my foundation. Markham's aunt. Kathy Banks Rowe beat breast cancer in 2001 and again in 2008. She was never unwavering in her faith, always had a strong will to make sure that she was going to survive and thrive. Her cancer's in remission. I mean, she's, she's great. She's always upbeat. Aunt Kathy's journey and fight is evident in her nephew. She was able to, to fight cancer and beat it, and I'm able to, to go through these drills or, or run through a defender and, and, and be successful in that, in that effort. So, I mean, she's taught me a lot about strength and not just being in the weight room strength, but mentally strong. Markham Banks and Kenny Lucas, two men bound by the love for their team and the mission to keep battling for their loved ones. To see that he's always strong every day makes, it, makes you, you know, aware and knowing that, oh, I can be strong as well. You know, I don't have to be hurt all the time. And I also don't have to hold it in all the time. I can share, you know, whatever pain I'm going through with somebody who's also been through it, and we can both get through it together. Markham tells me his aunt's greatest lesson to him, don't quit just because things get tough. As long as you have hope, you always have a chance. Sean Stepner, ABC2 News.